How to make a podcast part 3, publishing. Hello and welcome to Video Jug. By now you should have already seen parts 1 and 2 of our podcast films. Part 3 is about getting your podcast out there for people to hear. With your podcast complete, you can export it to a file. GarageBand gives you the option to export the podcast either directly into iTunes or as a file elsewhere on your computer. It will always be as an AAC file, which is iTunes' preferred format. Movie Maker will export as a Windows Media Audio file, which you will have to convert to an MP3 or AAC file in order for iTunes to accept it. Free software to do this conversion can be found on www.download.com. And for more information about downloading free software, have a look at the video jug film, How to Find Free Software Downloads. Once it's in iTunes, add track names and artist information and even artwork to the file in the usual way you'd rename songs. Once you've finished your podcast, you'll need to publish it. First, you'll actually have to get it onto the internet. If you're lucky enough to have your own website, you can upload the file to your web space using the normal FTP server. Failing that, you'll have to find a place that will store the file. One recommendation is ourmedia.org, which works a bit like YouTube and allows you to upload audio as well as video once you've set up a free account. Once it's online, you'll have to create an RSS feed for your recording. An RSS feed tells applications like iTunes where to find your file. You can make one simply by visiting www.tdscripts.com where you will fill in the details of your file. This is referred to as the enclosure, so in the box marked enclosure title, enter the name of your sound file, and so on. The file that is then generated can also be uploaded to the same place you've uploaded your sound file. You can now enter the web address or URL of the RSS feed into a podcast publisher, like iTunes or Whippet. Simply find the upload option on your publisher of choice. In iTunes, it's in the For Podcasters section of the podcast page of the iTunes Store. Enter the URL of the RSS file and the organisers of the site or service will listen to your podcast and ensure that it's suitable. If they approve, your podcast will be available to download through them in anything from a few hours to a few days, so soon the world will hear your mouth. For more about submitting podcasts to iTunes, watch the video jug film How to Submit a Podcast into iTunes. That's it, folks. Enjoy your podcasting.